So let us start with the multiplication of mixed fractions. Our first example is 5 and 2 third times 4 and 1 third. What do you think will be the answer for this? Again, kapag ka mixed fraction, ang unang gagawin lamang po muna natin is i-convert natin siya into its improper fraction na form. Again, paano nga ulit i-convert yung mixed fraction to improper fraction? Yes, tama. Imumultiply lang po natin ang denominator kay whole number at yung result ia-add lang natin kay numerator. Then, just copy the denominator. So, kumbaga po, ang mangyayari dito is ganito. 3 times 5, and that is equal to 15. Plus 2, and that is equal to 17 over 3. Kasi ikakapi na lang po natin si denominator. As what we can see, na convert na po natin yung mixed fraction na ito into its improper fraction na form. Again, ano nga yung improper fraction? Kapag sinabing improper fraction, the numerator is greater than its denominator since 17 is greater than 3. So, improper fraction ang tawag dito. Now, dito naman po tayo sa kabila. I-convert naman natin into its improper fraction. 3 times 4, and that is equal to 12, plus 1, and that is equal to 13, over 3. So, ito na po yung improper fraction na form ng 4 in 1 third. At kapag kaganito na po yung mukha ng ating mga fractions, just multiply the numerator to the other numerator of another fraction. And also, the denominator multiply to the other denominator of another fraction. In this case, we will just multiply 17 and 13. 7 times 3, and that is equal to 21. Carry 2. 3 times 1, and that is equal to 3, plus 2, and that is equal to 5. 7 times 1, and that is equal to 7. 1 times 1, and that is equal to 1. Bring down 1. This is 12. Carry 1, 2. So, 221. And, of course, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. Therefore, the answer is 221 over 9. So, ito na po yung sagot natin. So, hindi na po natin siya pwedeng i-lowest term sapagkat ang GCD ng 221 and 9 is already 1. So, kumbaga wala na po tayong pwedeng ma-divide sa numerator and denominator na kahit anong number except kay 1. Ngayon, baka may magtatanong naman kung ano ba yung GCD. Nakalimutan na po namin kung ano yung GCD. Greatest Common Divisor. Ito po yung pinakamataas na number na pwedeng pang-divide natin both numerator and denominator. Halimbawa, 9 over 24. So, ano ba yung GCD nito? Or greatest common divisor? Diba yung 9, pwedeng i-divide natin is 3. Sa 24, pwede din tayong mag-divide ng 3. That means, 9 and 24 can both be divisible by 3. So, try natin. 9 divided by 3, and that is equal to 3. 24 divided by 3, and that is equal to 8. So, ito pala yung GCD. 3. Bakit? Ito yung pinakamataas, no? Greatest common divisor ng 9 and 24. Siya yung pinakamataas na number na pwedeng i-divide kay 9 and 24 para ma-lowest term po natin yung mga fractions. Therefore, the answer is 3 over 8. Yung 3 over 8, hindi na natin ma-lowest term sapagkat yung common divisor na nito is 1 na lang. Kasi magdi-divide tayo ng 1, both numerator and denominator, babalik pa rin siya kay 3 over 8. So therefore, this is the final answer. Kasi kung itry naman po nating i-divide yung 3 and 8 by 2, hindi naman siya pwede. Yes, yung 8 can be divided by 2, but 3 cannot be divided by 2. So hindi na po natin siya ma-lowest term pa. Therefore, 3 over 8 is our final answer. So now, let's proceed with our next example. 8 and 1 over 6 multiplied by 3 and 2 over 5. So what do you think will be the answer for this? Feel free to pause the video and try to answer this in your scratch paper.
Okay, that's it. So now let's answer this. So 6 times 8 and that is equal to 48 plus 1 and that is equal to 49 over 6. Kasi copy na lang po si denominator. Dito naman sa kabila. 5 times 3 and that is equal to 15 plus 2 and that is equal to 17 over 5. Again, kapag ganito na po yung mukha ng ating mga fractions, just multiply directly itong numerator na ito dito sa kanyang katabi na numerator din. Dito naman sa denominator, imumultiply din natin sa katabi niyang denominator. So try po nating i-multiply. 9 times 7, and that is equal to 63, kiri 6. 7 times 4, and that is equal to 28, plus 6, and that is equal to 34. 9 times 1, and that is equal to 9. 4 times 1, and that is equal to 4. So bring down 3. 4 plus 9, and that is 13, kiri 1. 3 plus 4, and that is 7, plus 1, and that is equal to 8. Therefore, 49 times 17 is equal to 833. Also, with the denominators, 6 times 5 and that is equal to 30. Therefore, the final answer is 833 over 30. By the way, I will make a separate video on how to get GCD or Greatest Common Divisor ng mabilisan. Para pagdating po sa actual na examination or any type of examination, hindi na po kayo mahihirapan makakatipid pa po kayo ng oras. So, let's have our last example for multiplication of mixed fractions. 4 and 2 over 7 multiplied by 3 and 1 over 8. So, what do you think will be the answer for this? So, okay, hindi na po natin sasagutan yung problem na ito dito sa video. Just feel free to comment your answers dyan sa baba. So, now, let's move to division of mixed Fractions. Let's have our first example. 7 and 1 half divided by 2 and 2 over 5. So ano po kaya ang sagot dito? So as usual, yung process po natin, i-convert muna natin yung mixed fraction na ito into its improper fraction na form. So dito, 2 times 7 and that is equal to 14 plus 1. And that is equal to 15. Then, copy the denominator, which is 2. Dito naman sa kabila. 5 times 2, and that is equal to 10. Plus 2, and that is equal to 12. Over 5. Ganito. Ang gagawin lang po is just flip the numerator and denominator. Or in layman's term, pagbabalik ta rin natin ang pwesto, yung numerator and denominator. At ang tawag po doon is reciprocal. Baka may magtatanong kung alin ba dito sa dalawa yung ififlip yung numerator and denominator. So, kahit saan po, basta isa lang ha. Kahit ito or ito, depende sa inyo. Pero for me, mas prefer ko po yung pangalawa. Yung pangalawang fraction, yung ififlip ang numerator and denominator. At once na nakapag-flip na po kayo, baguhin nyo din yung operator. Instead of division, ay magiging multiplication na. So, kumbaga, ganito po yung mangyayari. 15 over 2 times, okay, no? Instead of divide, magiging times na. 15 over 2 times flip 5 over 12. So, now, we can multiply directly the numerator to the other numerator and yung denominator to the other denominator. So, in this case, 15 times 5 and that is equal to 75. 2 times 12, and that is equal to 24. Now, kunin po natin yung lowest term. So, sa nakikita po natin, yung numerator and denominator can be divided by 3. So, 75 divided by 3, and that is equal to 25. 24 divided by 3, and that is equal to 8. So, 25 over 8. Now, pwede pa bang lowest term? Hindi na, kasi yung GCD is 1 na lang. So, ito na po yung final answer. Kumusta po? Madali lang bang sagutan yung mga mixed fractions? So, let's try to have our second example. 5 and 2 third divided by 4 and 1 half. So, subukan nyo pong sagutan dyan sa inyong mga scratch papers. In this case, 
3 times 5, and that is equal to 15, plus 2, and that is equal to 17, copy the denominator, over 3. Dito naman sa kabila. 2 times 4, and that is equal to 8, plus 1, and that is equal to 9, over 2. So again, just copy the first fraction, at i-flip yung second fraction. Pagbalik ta rin ang pwesto yung numerator and denominator, at pagkatapos baguhin na yung operator. Instead of division, magiging multiplication na siya. So in this case, 17 over 3 times, flip natin yung uh, 9 over 2, magiging 2 over 9. So 17 over 3 times 2 over 9. So 17 times 2, and that is equal to 34. 3 times 9, and that is equal to 27. Ang tanong, malowis term pa ba si 34 over 27? Hindi na po. Since wala na tayong nakikitang ibang mga greatest common divisors, except na lang kay 1. So, yes, 34 can be divided by 2, but 27 cannot be. And 27 can be divided by 3, pero si 34 hindi pwedeng divide ng 3. So, wala na pong ibang greatest common divisors si 34 and 27 except na lang kay 1. Therefore, ito na po yung final answer. 34 over 27. Okay, so now let's move to our last example for the division of mixed fractions. 8 and 5 over 3 divided by 6 and 1 fourth. So ano po kaya ang sagot dito? Feel free to pause the video and try to answer in your scratch paper. And again, hindi na po natin sasagutan yung uh, problem na ito dito sa video. Just comment your answers dyan sa baba sa comment section. 